Okay, today we're going to be working through God maps. Now, what does it stand for? Boring old Danielle talking about maths and science. No, no, God maps stands for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And it's taught in schools as a rule to dictate the correct order that you approach any given equation. We don't move from left to right anymore. We're going to move around the equation using the bod maps rules. So first, we're going to perform calculations inside the brackets. Once we've finished with them, or in the absence of brackets, we're then going to move to powers, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, moving from left to right in those instances. So we're going to get a piece of paper and I want you to write bottom maps down the side and we're going to evaluate the equation on screen. So pause if you need to while you set that up. It's important to allow yourself enough space between each letter because that will help you work through the equation. So equation up the top, bottom maps down the side. So first we're going to look at what's in the brackets. Well, three plus three is in the brackets and we know that equals six. So we're going to amend what's in our brackets along the B line. Then we're going to move to orders. Here we have six to the power of three. Use your calculator and we end up with 216. So when we write orders, we add that line in. Division, 216 divided by four, Use your calculator and we add that in again. So as you can see, we're working through. Multiplication, well, we have that. What's 10 times three? 30, write that line in. Then we're going to move on to the addition line. We have five plus 54. Well, we know that equals 59. So we're going to add that in. Well, now it's getting a bit smaller. Subtraction, 59 takes 30. Well, we know that's 29. So we add that in. And what you can see here, and that was very quick, so feel free to pause if you need to, but we've moved from a very long equation to an answer. Now, if we'd approached this from left to right, we wouldn't have gotten the right response. So when you get a question like this at class, write the question up the top, write odd mass down the side, and work through each part of the equation. Break it down really small, and you'll be fine. 